Let's move on to our final hotline question here today. And this one's calling to ask about, hey, did James Gunn's brother, Sean, maybe just uh, say more than he was supposed to? Check it out. Hey, John, this is Alan. I think all of us have probably heavily speculated that Rocket will probably die in the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Did you see recently Sean Gunn's comments that he said Volume 3 will be his swan song as Rocket? Considering all the rumors and speculation, and also considering that he actually the stand-in mocap actor for Rocket on set, could Sean Gunn have just let it slip that Rocket is actually going to die in Volume 3? Thanks. Love to hear your thoughts. All right, Alan, thanks a lot for calling that in. And um, listen, I'll tell you what, I've met Sean Gunn a couple of times. He is a totally delightful dude. Really fun guy who one way or another ends up uh, finding his way into James's movies. I believe he did the mocap for Weasel as well. Aww, in um, That's great. In Suicide Squad. I love Weasel. I don't care what anybody says. Um, I love him. And my wife, of course, knows Sean Gunn because apparently... He was a big character in Gilmore Girls. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Never seen it? He was like the goofy. Yeah. He had like every job in Stars Hollow. Okay. Yeah. I, okay. I'll go with that. Um, and I've always liked him in the Guardians of the Galaxy. I like Craglin. Of course, he had a pretty relevant role in the holiday special as well. Like the whole holiday special kind of starts with him as well. I, I really like him as a character. Well, you may or may not know that he does the mocap for Rocket. Bradley Cooper may do the voice for Rocket, but it's Sean Gunn who is on set in a little green screen suit, you know, kind of shuffling around trying to be Rocket. Well, a lot of people have been speculating, like Alan said, that Rocket dies in this movie. And I think there's a lot of theoretical evidence to back that up. But did Sean Gunn just kind of spill the beans that that is indeed what happens? Well, this is what Alan's talking about. This comes to us from the folks over at the Direct who are quoting another source who said this. Many fans know by now that Craglin actor Sean Gunn also lends his talents to the as the stand-in actor for Rocket Raccoon's motion capture in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. While admitting to Empire Magazine that it's a lot harder to play Rocket now that he's getting older, he mentions the upcoming Guardians 3 call will be his swan song as Rocket, indicating he will no longer be providing the motion capture work needed to bring the beloved Guardian to life. Okay, so this is the thing. Swan song. This is my swan song is Rocket. That is the one thing that people are grabbing onto and going, he just revealed that Rocket dies in the movie. And listen, to be fair, that is definitely one of the possibilities. It is a possibility that Sean Gunn just basically spilled the beans that Rocket does indeed die. Okay. However, while that is definitely a possibility, I want us to look a little further beyond that one line. Because just before that one line, because that's the one line everybody's focusing on. Sean Gunn says this is a swan song as Rocket. And that's all people hear and they go, oh, well then that's make, that settles it. Rocket's dying. And maybe, maybe he is. But go back to the beginning of that paragraph, right? The beginning of that paragraph says this, while admitting to Empire Magazine that it is a lot harder to play Rocket now that he's older. So, that has to be taken into consideration. The line, this is my swan song as Rocket, was not spoken in a vacuum. First, the context is set up. Hey, listen, it's gotten harder for me to play this role because it's a lot down on my all fours, doing all this kind of stuff, and I'm getting older now, and it's hard for me to do this. And by the way, this is my swan song as Rocket. While it is totally reasonable to suspect that he did just spell the beans that Rocket may be dying, I think it is equally as possible here that what he was just saying is, I can't play the role anymore. Because this running around on all fours and, and contorting myself, trying to be a, the best mocap for the small creatures I can, it's just too difficult for me now. It's not enjoyable. My body's getting older. All that kind of stuff. And then after that, he says... By the way, this is my swan song playing the character. So could it be that he just accidentally revealed that Rocket dies? Could be. But I don't think anybody should run to any conclusions about that because I think it is equally as a valid perception of this that he was just talking about how I can't play the role anymore. And I think, and considering he's not even the voice of the character, you wouldn't even miss him in it. So I don't know, Chris... You hear about this. I mean, I know 
you are very, very nervous about the death of yes. Rocket. You you are going to be very, very yeah. upset. But Kevin, Kevin Feige. <laughs> you hear what Sean Gunn is saying. What is your instant gut reaction when you read the whole thing? What do you think he's talking about when he says, this is my swan song as Rocket? Well, when you read the whole statement, it's, yeah, mocap is freaking exhausting. He's 48 years old. So by the time they go into production for the next film, he's going to be in his 50s, you know? And for a character, uh, he doesn't even do the voice for exactly. And while he definitely has made a huge impact on what Rocket does, like when you're doing mocap, right, you are the skeletal system for your animators. So many of the bits that we love are all from Sean Gunn. The you're making me so mad, I gotta kick grass. That's a Sean <laughs> Gunn moment that was improvised. So, a lot of the things that we really enjoy about Rocket, his mannerisms and all that, that's thanks to Sean Gunn. And I think he's done a tremendous job here. That being said, you can have another actor come in and do the mocap right? Somebody else can don the suit because he's also probably going to still be crackling if he's around. He's going to keep showing up as that because that's his face there, right? We're right. not doing a likeness thing like we do with some mocap. It's simply just the motion capture aspect. We're not doing facial capture for him either really that much aside from like the muscles in here and then they're animating over that so it doesn't look like him. It looks like a raccoon. But I also still think that they're going to kill my baby. <laughs> oh, I really no. do. I really do. And it makes me really sad. Because I, I love that so much of this story is supposed to be about Rocket's origins and, and saving him and learning more about him and just the atrocities that were done to this poor guy and why he is the way he is, right? But all of the marketing materials just really keep reinforcing to me that, that Rocket's going to go. I think it's too on the nose. I just don't believe yeah. it. Yeah. I think it it's might a be a big misdirect. It could be. Because you know also going back to his line here. Notice he didn't say this is Rocket Swan Song. No, he said it's his. He says my yeah. Swan Song is Rocket. I'm just trying to emotionally prepare myself so when I start ugly crying in the theater, I don't <laughs> hyperventilate. You know, I'm just gonna be squeezing Taylor, being like, he's God. You know what I just saw in the live chat? What'd you see? And I, this blows my mind. Oh my what if Rocket turns into a human at the end of this movie? Is that even possible? How dare? With what it's, High Evolution is trying to do? Uh, of course, it's possible. Ooh. Shrek did it. Yep, Shrek did it. Fiona. <laughs> Wait, what, did Shrek do it or was it only yeah. Fiona? No, Shrek did too because in Shrek 2, he does the fairy godmother spell. There was a Shrek And then he two? becomes a prince for a little bit. <laughs> Shrek 2. Pete, the Empire Strikes Back of the Shrek French of the, of the Shrek legacy. Yeah. I'm going to do like a Shrek like marathon because I don't remember any of this. <laughs> Shrek 2 is my favorite of the, of the soundtrack. franchise. soundtrack. So good. So wonderful. All right, guys. Question is for you. What do you think about this? Obviously, there's a lot of theories out there that Rocket will die in this. And, and maybe that is indeed what Sean Gunn just kind of slipped. Or maybe it was him just saying, listen, I'm playing, mo-capping Weasel is one thing. I can stand up on all on my feet. Uh, mo-capping Rocket is tough at my age. I don't know. What do you think he meant by that? Whatever you guys think, jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. We want to thank a sponsor of this video, Mint Mobile. From the gas pump to the grocery store, your utility bills and favorite streaming services, inflation is everywhere. Seriously, make it stop. Thankfully, there's one company out there that's giving you a much needed break. It's Mint Mobile. As the first company to sell premium wireless service online only, Mint Mobile lets you order from home and save a ton with phone plans starting at just $15 a month. You guys know that ever since I switched to Mint Mobile, I've been saving almost 70% a month over my old phone plan. For people looking Looking for extra savings this year? Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just $15 a month. By going online only and eliminating the traditional cost of retail, Mint Mobile passes the significant savings on to you. All of their plans come with unlimited talk and text plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and keep your same phone number along with all your existing contacts. Switch to Mint Mobile and get premium wireless service starting at just $15 a month. To get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash campia. That's mintmobile.com slash campia. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia.